Hey there beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be recreating Katy Perry's makeup look from her new and empowering music video, Rise. In her music video, she's rocking a very understated yet sultry smoky eye, warm bronze skin, and pinky nude lips. I love this look she's got going on because it's so summery and yet so bohemian and beautiful. So now, if you guys want to know how to get Katy Perry's exact makeup look from her new music video, Rise, then just keep on watching. So Katie has big blue eyes, so I'm going to be faking those today using some Desio lenses in Icy Blue. For primer, I'm going to be priming my skin using the Becca Backlit Priming Filter, which is a super luminous and hydrating primer that's going to add a lot of moisture to our look today. For foundation, I'm going to go with my go-to, which is the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation, and I'm just going to stripe this around my face, and then blend out using a foundation brush. This foundation will blur any imperfections and leave your skin looking super flawless, which is why I love it so, so much. To conceal and highlight, I'm going to be using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light, and I'm going to first conceal under my eyes, and to do this, I just like to draw two little triangles about medium in size, pointing downward. To blend out, I like to use my pink beauty blender and go right in, making sure everything blends out seamlessly. To highlight, I like to go back in with the same concealer and highlight my chin, the bridge of my nose, and also my forehead. To set, I'm going to be using my tried and true Cody Airspun Powder in Naturally Neutral. I like to take my beauty blender, dip it into the powder, and go right in, packing on a little bit of this powder, waiting just a minute or two, and then go back in with a smaller powder brush and dust all this powder away quickly and just sweeping this away from my face. To set my whole face, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Foundation Powder. To fill in my brows today, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Ebony and just filling them in like I normally do by starting at the tail end of my brow and working towards the front. I like to finish off the brows by going in with a clear brow gel and the one I'm using here is by NYX Cosmetics and it's called Control Freak. I'm going to be priming my lids today using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and this is just going to ensure my eyeshadow stays on all day long. You can also use a concealer to prime or also your foundation. Going into my Morphe 35N palette, I'm going to be taking a peach shadow and a medium warm brown shade and mixing these two together. I'm going to be buffing the shade into the crease using a Sigma E40 brush. Katie's eye look was very warm and light on the lids, so we're just going to create a very warm peachy bronze transition shade. I'm going to be going back in with those two shades using a smaller pencil brush and just buffing that color onto the lower lash line, connecting it to the transition color we just added to the crease. Jumping into the Morphe 350 palette, I'm going to be picking up a bronze shimmer shade and applying this to my lid. In the music video, she has a little bit of shimmer going on in the lid and it's super subtle, but this shade has a little bit of peach reflex in it, which makes this eye look appear very natural and very light. So the main focus of Katie's look was her smoky liner, so I'm going in with NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Gunmetal and lining my waterline as well as my lash line. It's okay if this is a little messy at first because we have a lot of blending to do later. I went back in to deepen the eyeliner even further by using NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean. So next I went in with a black shadow from the Morphe 35N palette and started buffing the black into my waterline and my upper lash line. Her eyeliner is very smoky but not overly smoky so think daytime smoky eye. I used a small pencil brush to buff in the black and kept going until it blended out really nicely. Also, if you have blue eyes like Katie, this eyeliner is going to look so stunning on you and will really make your eyes pop against the bronze eye makeup. So next I'm going in with Tarte's Lash Paint and if you have naturally long lashes, you can skip the falsies, but today I'm going to be using Coco Lashes in the style Bella. These are very thick on the outer edge and they give a very cat-like fierce look, which Katie definitely had going on in this music video. So for bronzer today, I'm going to be warming up my whole face using Tarte's Park Avenue Princess Bronzer and I'm just going to tap this into my cheekbone, bringing it onto my cheek so I can get a warm, summery tan complexion that Katie was rocking in this video. Her bronzer was very natural and not contoured at all, so using a big brush would be perfect. I'm going to be contouring my nose using the same bronzer. I'm first going to be drawing two very straight lines down my nose and going back up to the bridge of my nose just defining even further. To make my nose contour appear more natural, I'm going to go back in with my powder and my face powder brush and just buff this away so there's no harsh lines. For blush, I'm going to be using my Morphe 9N blush palette and I'm taking a really nude peachy blush and I'm just going to tap this into the apples of my cheeks and back towards my hairline, almost blending this into my bronzer. For highlight, I'm first going to spray my brush using my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist, and then going into my Tarte Skin Twinkle Palette, I'm going to be highlighting my cheekbones and also bringing this around my face into a C shape. I also like to go in and highlight my nose, just using my fingertip and blend this nicely into the tip of my nose and also the bridge. 
For lips, I'm going to be using my Katie Cat Matte by CoverGirl, and this shade is called Pink Paws. It's so gorgeous and natural, which reminded me a lot of what she was wearing in this music video. I also put a gloss on top, and this one is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and the name of it is called Sunset Strip. It's a beautiful, melony orange, summery color, and it's so beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has some glitter in it, and it looks really, really nice over the top of the Katie Cat Matte. Now, if you want to look exactly like Katie, then clip on a fake silver nose ring and some hair rings. I got this nose ring on Amazon and just clipped it right on, and it was super easy and looked a lot like Katie's. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial inspired by Katy Perry's makeup look from her music video, Rise. Be sure to thumbs up and also subscribe if you want to see more transformations like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you beauties in my next tutorial.